Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome to Live After Five. I would like to chat to you about a really, really important topic. It's about rights of way. I read a really good article this morning written by Nolan Farrell and Goff Solicitors in Waterford and I'd like to share it with you. And I'll actually put a link uh, to the article that Nolan Farrell and Goff wrote um, so that you can actually reference it when, you, when I finish this video, okay? So I'm just going to read some of it, right? Basically, um, the deadline for registering a right-of-way is approaching. And if your property benefits from a right-of-way or some other form of easement that has been acquired informally because of long use, you should carefully consider the implications of the Land and Conveyancing Reform Act 2009 to avoid the loss of your rights away. Okay? Now, up to now, you could just register um, for a right away and it'd be pretty straightforward. But as of the 30th of November, um, this is the date that's been planned for a really long time. Um, Basically, everything is going to change. So the Act provides that steps must be taken before the 1st of December 2021 to either register such informal rights at the Land Registry and or a court order must be obtained confirming the existence of the right. Once that date is passed, you will have to establish the right of way under the new regime, which is based on a claim of continuous usage since December 2009. In other words, continuous usage over the last 20 years. Now that could be very difficult to prove. Um, prior to the 2009 Land and Conveyancing Reform Act, if you wish to register right of way, you had to prove 20 years use for private rights of way rather than states right of way. What does all this mean? If you have a property and you have a right of way, in other words, it's a shared access and you haven't got a formal registered right of way and you're thinking of selling your property, maybe not today, maybe next year, maybe in five years time or 10 years time, you actually will have huge problems with that sale because a buyer's solicitor will be very, very troubled with a property that doesn't have a registered right of way. So I'll put a link to it and it is really, really worthwhile. Oh look, I have a bunny rabbit here on the couch with me. I was wondering what it was. Um, it's really worthwhile reading this um, any kind of rights way. I cannot stress how important this legislation changes. It's, it's, it's actually massive and I'm not really hearing that many people talking about it. So um, I hope um, you found this helpful. And as I said, I'll attach the link, which um, is very, very informative. Take care. Have a nice evening. Slán go